Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone. This video has been highly requested recently, so I figured I'll finally give you guys what you guys wanna watch. I currently have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I know it's a little outdated, don't come for me, but I, I think I got it maybe two years ago. I'm not really sure. The iPhones recently have literally been updating so fast. Like, what are we at, 16 Pro Max now, I think? 16, I don't know. I think we're at 16 now and I have the 13 and I got it two years ago so Apple has been making some new phones at a rapid pace. I have the 13 Pro Max in the white color. I just now updated it to the iOS 18 today so I have been playing around my phone all day and trying to customize it for my liking. I think I finally got it how I want it to look like. It's actually so much fun customizing. My sister, Julia Christ, I'm sure a lot of you guys know of her. She is a big Apple person. She loves all kinds of technology and fun stuff like that. So she is definitely the pro at it. I just watch her videos and try and follow along and get stuff from her because I am not as good at it as her. So I've been watching her videos all day and trying to to update my phone. I updated it and now I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Like I get so confused how to even work my phone. I don't know if anyone's like that. Like they update their phone and then they can't find anything because that's me. Like where do I screen play? Oh, okay, I found it. Okay, this is my phone, my lock screen at least. Um, I just have this picture of Tyler and I. We just took a photo shoot the other day, and so I updated my phone with a new picture, of course. I didn't really do anything to the front page. I just kind of kept it simple, and I just like it that way, I feel like, the most. I kind of wanted to figure out how to do it, like, where I rotate pictures. Sorry, I, ha I can't let my phone turn off or else the screen recording will stop. I wanted to do, like, the rotating picture lock screen but I didn't feel like figuring that out I'm sure it's really simple but I just have it as the one picture for now you go into my phone and this is my home screen I have two pages I think I have a third just because I updated it today I guess I could probably take this off anyways I have the two different screens the first one I just have some widgets and then apps all of my widgets are kind of just like decoration like I just kind of have them there for the look of it so the first top one is just a picture of some bows I found them all on Pinterest if you go and find my Pinterest I'll have that on the screen somewhere I have all of these pictures linked and easy to find if you guys want them for your iPhone so I have the bow one and then and I also just have like the day of the month and week that's on there and then I also have another picture from Pinterest when I'm afraid I put my trust in you and I just think that is so cute oh no my camera's gonna die I should have replaced the battery before this okay new battery I'm all set now back to it I have all of my different apps they all have the little covers on them I forget what it's called shortcuts I think so on the top right, I first have my settings app. That's just a given. I just have that on there. And then Safari, obviously use that all the time. Phone, just to call people. And then FaceTime, which I use a lot. So those are just all the apps I feel like that are just necessary. And then the bottom left, I have music, camera, clock, and photos. Obviously my music on here, pretty chill. I don't really share it with other people or at least people that aren't like my close friends. Just because, I don't know, I never really share my music taste. I don't know, just interesting. Well, you can tell by the bottom. Obviously, not the best because I'm literally listening to Disney. And then my camera, obviously, does. it's just a camera. <laughs> I do need a new phone only because of my camera quality. I feel like it's not as good now because I don't know, just I see the newer camera qualities on the new iPhones and I'm like, oh my gosh, mine is so bad. I need to get a new phone. And then obviously all of my photos and then my clock. I use it for my alarms every day. I have so many alarms set. I should probably cancel them because I literally use like two. 
so that is my first screen on the bottom i just have them memorized a lot of people never know what these apps are when other people get on my phone but i know them by heart the bottom left on the farthest left i guess is snapchat and then i have instagram so go follow me on there if you would like i post a lot on here and then i have my tiktok in which i actually just posted so also be following me on there because i love posting on here and then my messages is the last one down there if i scroll over this is my other page i just have some fun pictures on here on the top widget i have a picture of me and my friend reese at the beach because obviously love the beach so that picture is up there my phone's gonna die i should have probably thought about this before i filmed a what's on my iphone i just it's a monday and then i have a picture of our new puppy i love her so much and i just had to put her on there because she's literally adorable she's like pinterest worthy she's so cute i I'm obsessed with her so she's on there and then the bottom picture is just what do they even call those i don't even know what it's called but aesthetic i guess so for my apps on this page these are more of the fun apps that are actually like i pick not just like the basic ones the top left i have my gmail i use that every day for work and just in general for all of my emails that i get in a day and then my youtube studio app that just helps me control my youtube account and it just makes it so much easier for me to be able to keep up with you guys that's where i respond to my comments i use that app every single day it's so important for me life 360 obviously just have that with all of my friends and then power school that is where all of my my grades are at i don't really want to open some of these apps just because they're a little bit private i just feel like if i open them i'll just give like i don't know my identity away at this rate so power school just has all of my grades on there i have all a pluses guys as of right now but i'm also in like what three classes so okay i actually have like seven classes but a lot of them aren't really classes they're just i don't know i don't really know how to explain it i do a half day if you guys don't know for school so i work and then go in i have three classes right now i'm not really at school that much <laughs> anyways back to it my bottom right side i have pinterest i love pinterest oh my gosh like i'm always scrolling on here i feel like it's such an underrated app like i'm literally on here every day i love it okay well i have a lot of different boards saved that i don't really share i have a bunch of random ones like pics with ty that's literally just the photo shoot tyler and i had i just need an inspo formal i have a bunch of formal dresses saved on here because formal is right around the corner it's literally next month and i don't have a dress picked out or any idea of what i want so you guys should leave a comment down below what color of dress i should get that might help me out because i'm literally struggling i cannot find a dress or if you guys have any suggestions i just need to probably like pick a color out or something because i have no idea anyways i'm always on pinterest i've recently been looking at a lot of formal dresses but i'm on there like every day and then and I have Visco. I love this app too. I post a lot of fun pictures that not everyone sees so definitely be following me on Visco if you aren't or if you don't know Visco it's just an app pretty much where you literally just post pictures and people can repost them or like share them so it's kind of just like Instagram honestly but just a lot less chaotic I guess that is a fun app and then I have the Bible app obviously and then Starbucks gotta be on my home screen of course I actually have been doing so good guys I have been trying to not go to Starbucks as much because I literally go all the time and I need to save my money because literally I would go to Starbucks all the time like I just have to stop doing that so I haven't gone in like weeks like think yeah it's been a long time or if i do go it's like a treat because i literally i never go i've been so good recently guys i feel like with school though like i love getting fun drinks in the morning so it's so hard for me not to go but i have been going to like our local coffee shop so that kind of doesn't i don't know cancels it out i guess but at least i'm shopping and supporting local instead of starbucks i guess so not really improvement but 
kind of. And then over here, I just obviously have all of my different apps. I'll just go through them really quickly because I there's not really much explanation behind them all. For suggestions, I just have the weather app, Facebook, notes, and find my iPhone. I literally am on these apps all the time, so it's funny. They're obviously suggested because I'm always looking at the weather, writing stuff in my notes, like, oh my gosh, all the time. Recently, we just got a puppy, so we don't have a name for her yet. So I've literally just been going in there during the day and typing in different names for her that I think are cute so literally the most random things like that Facebook I love seeing what all the moms are up to and then find my iPhone I'm literally on the app all the time trying to find where my friends are at or where my family is at so I'm on there a lot too recently added um, that's <laughs> these apps are funny Allegiant. Okay, well pretty much we just went on fall break and we had a little bit of a mess just because of the hurricane. We had to change all of our flights, rental car, hotel, all that stuff. So I had to download all those apps and try and switch those around because my mom didn't have the Wi-Fi pass. I don't know, it's a long story, but pretty much I had to do it on my phone. Um, speedometer, I wanted to see how fast we were going on the boat. <laughs> white noise because I literally cannot sleep without white noise, so... I downloaded the app to have that playing at night, but it's actually really nice. I definitely recommend it. Gosh, this video is gonna be so long. I'm just describing all these random apps that I have. Um, social media, obviously all of these apps. Um, yeah, I feel like they're pretty obvious what most of them are. Note it, I honestly probably can delete that. I don't, I used to have it with my boyfriend and you can like write different notes on widgets. It was actually such a fun app. I probably shouldn't have deleted it because it was actually really fun, but it's like a widget and you guys just like write notes to each other throughout the day. So much fun. Creativity. Um, these are a bunch of random apps. There are a lot for editing like pictures, um, YouTube stuff, and then entertainment. There's a lot of like places where I watch my different shows on. I could probably delete a lot of these, like, oops, I can definitely delete Cedar Point. Um, yeah, there's a lot of random ones. Bracketology, that's where we do. Are you Dancing with the Stars bracket? So much fun. I'm a big Dancing with the Stars fan, so. We have a little bracket with our family and friends. So much fun. I used to be winning. I didn't do so great last week, so I'm not winning anymore, sadly. I think I'm in third. Oh wait, I'm tied for second so sad. I wasn't first guys, I wasn't first. Utilities, I have a bunch of the random apps that just kind of come with your phone, productivity and finance, a bunch of these. Um, gosh, there's so many apps, like I don't even want to explain these all. Oh my gosh, my mail. How do I have 14,000 emails? I don't really use mail, I use more of Gmail, but oh my gosh, that's insane. Shopping, obviously one of my favorite areas, I love shopping. Also, the new update is so cool. Wait, oh, never mind. I thought I just discovered something. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying how the new update, like you can see the background like in, I don't know, when you like click on the different things. I'm so bad at describing this, but you can still like see the clear background. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I don't think that used to be there at least. I don't know, education. I have all of these for school, travel, Information and reading, kind of random. Health and fitness, that's kind of a given. Planet fitness, that's kind of embarrassing that I have to re-download it because I never go. <laughs> Food and drinks, um, all of my favorite places. Games, wait, I thought I had a lot more than that. I don't really play games on my phone, but I really should because they're so fun. Other, I don't know, hidden? What the heck? Do I oh. Yeah, I don't have any hidden apps. I think that's a new thing in the update because I did not know about that. Okay, well, that's pretty much everything on my iPhone. I honestly don't have that much on my phone. Everyone's always asking for it what's on my iPhone, but I really just don't have that much to offer. I feel like I'm so boring when it comes to all of the technology kind of stuff because I really don't have that much of like updates or anything fun on my phone. I keep it pretty simple, but I am definitely into trying and getting more tech savvy i feel like that kind of stuff is so much fun and it'd be so fun if i was like really good at it and like knew exactly how to navigate through it all so maybe i'll start learning and digging into that because 
it's pretty fun. That's it for my phone though. I don't have too much more on there. Again, I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If there are any other technology kind of videos you guys want to see from me, I am more than willing to try them out and make those videos for you guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and if you made it all the way through, comment a phone emoji, obviously. Also make sure to be following all of my different social media accounts. I think I have them mainly all listed throughout this video while I'm going on to the apps, but make sure to definitely be following all of my different accounts because I post a lot on there. So you guys will get to keep up with me more if you follow me on there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh.